What's your favorite movie of all time? Uh, that's how you put me on the spot with that. Uh, remember the Titans. Ooh, wow. You think you could play the role of Denzel? No. You like them because you like because you like to look good doesn't mean you're gonna go look good. Right. You get it? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, people just it's just hard until the the needle is far enough in the foot, people won't move. You know, that's why they have to have drive. That's why those big box companies like, you know, the 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 crunch fitnesses and the the other one that's really, you know, really cheap that you go yeah. to Planet Fitness. Planet Fitness yeah. So when you go there, they put those are hedge fund guys, hedge fund guys, fund guys. I know because one of them partnered with me and my company. He was two hundred and fifty million dollar mogul. And I put my gym systems in there and I monetized them. And I was paying him. He wasn't paying me. So I became their boss. And I just actually hooked him up with a guy or partner of mine from JP Morgan just yesterday. And they text me and was like, dude, you hooked me up with Jeff. We had our conversation. Jeff's a monster, but he's in a mega gym business, not gym business, health business now. So what it was is I broke that mindset of leading with my heart, leading with my heart on my sleeve. And I created programs and systems you know people see that guide you also see the keychain of a bentley but what hides behind that keychain is a bentley you get it and so yeah. that's the same thing people see the low-hanging fruit but they don't realize it's a game changer behind that fruit it's just not more of the same it's really a game changer kind of scenario so uh there are a lot of other conversations that we have with our coaches every single week only because they don't have that vernacular. It doesn't mean anyone's stupid. It's just a whole different world. You know, I remember, I remember getting into the conversations with some people who are from the world of writing journalists. And I didn't know, I mean, I thought I knew everything at least when it comes down to the English grammar, but their whole dynamics and the way they operate, you ever hung with a journalist? Yeah, I got, yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, y'all, yeah, lawyers and shit. Yeah, y'all, yeah. they move. I'm like, y'all move. Y'all talk different. They don't use like TVs. They don't hardly use phones. They use their laptop. Like they live. I'm like, holy crap. So I learned a different language, and I hired them for a magazine that I started. And so I got an opportunity to hear a lot of different stuff. And that's the same thing with boxing. You just don't have access to those conversations and stuff. So that's what we do. We, we give you those conversations and let you get familiar and say, OK, because it's a it's years and years of learning and learning and, and just like, oh, my gosh. But what we think about, you know, when we talk about this, my friend, is learning how to know what it is your gym will be specialized in and then optimize that after we systemize it. Cause you got to have a system and the system is the way that you will operate inside of that gym every single day, the exact same way. Don't get caught up in, I can train. I'm so good. Or I box. And that don't mean shit. That means worse because now you're leading with ego and the ego does not operate and work at all in business. And you know that you get it. You got to know line items in business. So what is this place going to be? And how will people that we bring in to help us, how will they operate? Is it um, so you know how to train, uh, train them people? Like, what is it? What's my order of operation and my onboarding process? You, do, you know, do you have your manual? You know, where's your manual? You got your manual so that they can just open it up and say, OK, because you can't tell everybody everything all the time. So true. That's that's brilliant. I didn't even think of that. That's yeah. yeah. But it's not your fault. Who? No one told us when we got certified to be coaches that you're going to need to know that you may be spending upwards of sixty five thousand dollars in ads if you're not a masterful marketer like Eric Bradley in ads alone, they're not going to tell you that you're going to need to hire a department that's going to cost you 40K to get everything that that department brings. 
Did they tell you that? Or did they say, go figure it out, and it's just going to be a churn of just depression? Because that's what it is. I talk to all the gym owners all the time. That's why we know that it's not available in teaching format. And that's what is a sad thing because this should be something that you have to do when you're going to run a gym immediately when you get certifications to do anything, it just should be available because if the guys knew it, they would eventually do it. But sometimes it's just fun training people without having any thinking about it, but it's just so fun. You love to work with people. You love to help people. You're helping people. You're watching these kids. You're watching the adults. That stuff is euphoric. It's like a drug. But when you put the line items in front of it and say, okay, here's the deal. We need a USP 